Hi everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to change line color and size in a line chart using parameter actions in Tableau. For this, we'll be using Sample Superstore dataset, which is available on Tableau. So let's get started. As you can see in this dashboard, we are showing the sales number by month for subcategories using Sample Superstore dataset. And if you hover over to any line, it will highlight that particular line and shows you the sale for a particular month. As in this case, you can see phones um, for the month of November 2016, the sales for phone is 21 grand. And if you hover over to any other line, you will see the sales of that particular subcategory for a particular month. As you can see now, it's showing $22,420 of machine sales in the month of September 2016. So how we can achieve this? Well, all of this can be done using parameter actions. So let's start it from scratch. Okay, so first of all, we need to connect to dataset, which is by clicking on the new data source and connecting to sample superstore dataset. Once we are connected, first of all, we need to bring the sales in the row shelf and then we need to bring the order date into column shelf. And this will help us to show the sales by month. And for this, we want the month to be a continuous, um, continuous chart. So for this, we will select month like this and you will see the month over the period, of, um, the sales over the period of time. And now we need to bring um, subcategory into detail section so for this we will just drag the subcategory into detail and you will see all the sales by subcategory you will see so many number of lines which is hard to read so for that what we are trying to do here is to create two different calculation one for changing the line color of each of these subcategories and other one is to highlight the line size so how we can do that so first of all we need to create a parameter so <clears throat> we will create a subcategory parameter subcategory parameter and we will create it as a string and we will keep it blank as of now and just click ok and we will create a calculated field where we will see if subcategory is equal to subcategory parameter then give me a color so in this case we will keep it yellow else give me color gray and so this one is used to highlight the line color and same way we will create a duplicate calculated field and we will edit it for highlighting the line size and in this case we will do the same thing if the subcategory is equal to the subcategory parameter then we say we want the size 4 else we want the size 1 of these lines now we need to bring these two line color into the color shelf and highlighted color into detail set, um, highlighted uh, line size into size shelf, size mark shelf. So we will bring it here. And right now, because our parameter is by default uh, not selected anything, so let's say, let's edit it and let's say by default phone. Or I guess we do have phone so what we will quickly go and check at what all subcategories we do have so we have phones so I will edit that to by default keep it as phones and you will see how the color changed now we will reduce the size to our requirement so maybe this looks all right and same way we will edit the colors and we will change the clay color to keep it a bit lighter and now maybe I will just format the background 
to make it a bit darker. So let's choose black in this case. And we just format the grid lines, remove the grid lines. And gray color, we want a bit darker because it's the dark background. So in order to keep it consistent, so maybe we keep somewhere here. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So as you can see here, when we hover over to each line, you can't see it highlighting. So for that, we need to go to worksheet and set up an action. So in this case, we go to add action and then go to change parameter. And here, we will create a new parameter action for highlight um, the line. And we will just say target parameter. In this case, we want subcategory parameter. We click on that and the field we need is subcategory sample stores. We select that one and we do it on hover over. You can select either select option or menu option as well. So when you click OK, when you hover over, you will see that particular line will get highlighted. And you can then do a bit of formatting, remove the extra tooltips, which we don't need. And you can edit the font and colors. And here you go, it's ready. And also another thing, if we want to move it to dashboard, so we can simply do it by bringing and dragging it here and removing all the extra sections. And here, when you drag in, you will see that oh, action parameter is not working. So in this case, you need to set up the action parameter again by going to actions and selecting change parameter and create a new parameter, highlight line, target parameter, and selecting subcategory again, over over, and click OK. And here you go, it's back working again. And maybe I will just change the color legend and bring yellow above gray. So it gives a better way to highlight these lines. Here you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Well, catch you next time. Take care.